Welcome back to the Python programming specialization video lecture series. In the last videos, we have seen how to install Python on various platforms. So in this video, we'll see what Python statements are. So a statement is an instruction that can be executed by a Python interpreter when it come across as that. Say for example, so you can consider this as a Python statement a equal to b plus c. So when a Python interpreter sees these kind of statements then it starts executing and then it produces the output. So Python statement could be an assignment statement like this or it could be a conditional statement or even a looping statement or even a function header or some other statement also. So usually these kind of statements are grouped together and are executed together to achieve a particular task. In any programming language context, a sequence of such statements are written together to achieve a particular task. Say for example, so to find maximum of a set of given numbers. So we need to write a set of statements and those set of statements need to be executed together to achieve that particular task. So in Python, so statement could be written either in a single line or even we can extend a single statement to multiple lines also. So Python supports both of these. So if you consider this example, which is a single and uh, short statement, so it could be finished in a single line itself. So whenever you come across a lengthy statement like this, or for your comfort, you may need to extend the single statement itself to multiple lines. How we can do this is, so you can extend a single statement to multiple lines, either implicitly by using parentheses or the curly braces or even using the square brackets. So whenever you open any of these braces, then till you close that brace, so it is constituted, even if it is extended to multiple lines also, uh, that statement is constituted as a single statement itself or we can explicitly mention the extension of the single statement to multiple lines by using the slash character as a continuation character you can use. So now let's see how we can use this continuation character that is a slash symbol to indicate the extension of the statement to next line. So consider this example now, this statement is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3, at the end of the statement a slash symbol which indicates that the statement is not finished and is extended to the next line. So now see, so it is extended with 4 plus 5 plus 6 and even this line is also having another slash symbol which indicates that the statement is extended to the next line. Now if you observe this line, so the statement ends with this line as there is no further slash. So that's how you can have a single statement extended to multiple lines as per your convenience. So whenever your statement does not fit in a single line or for your convenience, you can extend a single statement itself to multiple lines like this. So this statement which is written in three lines is the same as the statement that is written in a single line like this. So when you execute any of these, it results in the same value or you can use any of these uh, parentheses. So the parenthesis symbol or the curly braces or even the square brackets to indicate that the statement is extended to the multiple lines. Now consider this, here if you observe the open parenthesis is open and it's not closed and Python interpreter waits until it gets a closing, corresponding closing symbol for every opened parenthesis as in when it checks the closing symbol corresponding to all the open parenthesis, then only it assumes that the statement is closed until and unless it assumes that the statement is continued. Now if you observe still after the second line also, so there is an open parenthesis without having the corresponding closing parenthesis. Now that means it's extended to the next line also. Even it's not closed here, now we are closing here as the interpreter founds a corresponding closing parenthesis for all the open parenthesis used in the statement. So it assumes that all these multiple lines as a single statement itself. That's how we can extend a single statement to multiple lines. So this is same as using the single line statement like this. Or even we can use the square brackets. So I'm basically creating a list data structure as the square bracket is open and it's not closed till the third line, all these three lines is constituted as the single 
statement itself and this has the same effect as writing this single list creation using a single line itself. So that's how we can write Python statements either in a single line or even extend to multiple lines for our convenience or for uh, as a line is too lengthy to fit in a single line. So basically Python statements are the executable commands. So using uh, a sequence of these commands, so we can write a program. So thank you, thank you for watching this video.